Hi everybody, it's Claire here from My Creative Spirit with a quick walkthrough of the latest collection from Graphic 45 before I start snipping into it. So it's the Lost in Paradise collection, a really bright, vibrant um, set of colours in here. Pineapple yellows, fern greens, beautiful corals, sea blues. It's just the most gorgeous, gorgeous collection with lots and lots of images to cut out. So let's just take you through what there is. So we'll start with the 12 by 12 collection pack and it comes with the two sticker sheets reshaped. So we've got new shapes in the stickers, which is great. And of course, they're always coordinated with the papers in the collection. So you can pop them up, raise them on foam dots, dimensionalise them and make really lovely embellishments for your projects. So two sheets of those and then 16 12 by 12 papers, all double sided, really good quality. And in this collection, really vibrant. So there's always a cover sheet and it gives you a good picture to be able to cut out featuring the flamingo and the little birds and butterflies and also it gives you a guide to the papers in the collection too which is great to use when you're making projects. And then let's have a look through the papers. So as always with Graphic 45 we have got an amazing signature sheet with featuring the flamingo lots of elements to cut out. There's a nice framed border on that one. And then on the reverse, we've got the continuation of the leaves from the top of the paper on a blue background. Really a gorgeous element on that one. And then a really striking floral um, paper with the birds popping out and the more you look the more you see. Diane and her team do a fabulous job with layering up all of the detail on each of the sheets and this one's no exception. If you look really carefully there's lots of scripty um, words and outlines sitting behind all of this floral and then on the back of that one a lovely light fern green with the botanical drawings. So two of those and then a great cut apart sheet. We've got borders on here, wider, shorter borders and then the pictures just shouting to be cut out and the set of stamps as well. And then on the back of that one, we've got fabulous pineapples which go really well with the cutouts and the patterns and solids, of course, which we'll get to shortly. And then a whole page of flamingos. I love this. So we've got all the colours going on here, the yellows, the blues, the pinks, the corals and the greens. Lovely sets of stamps and then the flamingos in different sizes and direction. And then on the back of that one, a whole montage of the postage stamps with all the birds and the flowers on. So love those. And then we get on to um, this really striking sheet with the large birds, the toucan, the cockatiels. I think they're cockatiels. They're parrots. Definitely a parrot up here. Budgies. And the more you look, again, the more you see. We've got the botanical outlines in the background and some script. It says, welcome to the jungle. But there really is um, an awful lot of detail sitting on that one sheet. And then a darker fern green on the back that coordinates beautifully um, with the outline and script as well. And then a smaller version of uh, one of the sheets previously looked at with again all of the floral detail sitting on a blue background and that one's got the gorgeous coral stripes on the back. So even if you don't like the A-sides of the papers and the theme in the collection, there are always some great B-sides that you can use in all sorts of projects in the collection too. Then we get to the cutout sheet. Um, lovely 6x4 and 3x2 pictures. Again, they make fabulous cutouts on cards, lift-ups in your albums. And then on the back, 
I love this sheet. It's all the little leaves in the different greens, all um, lined in sort of a stripy effect, but it works both ways. So two of those, and then the last sheet in the collection is this fabulous um, floral. I really need to know the names of these um, flowers. I love them. I see them all the time in amazing flower displays. And um, it really is a fabulous, bold printed paper. And then on the back, that pineapple yellow, which coordinates, let's just pop it under here, really beautifully. And so does that dark green. Let's just find it. If you want to go for a darker look. So gorgeous papers there in the collection pack. And that comes with the stickers. And then we always get an 8x8 pad, which, let's bring it in, is... The smaller version of the papers, 24 sheets, three each of the eight designs. And again, they make great um, resized for cards and smaller projects, but again, have all of the detail beautifully proportioned. So, really love the 8x8 pad. And if you follow me, you'll know that I tend to mix 12x12s, 8x8s up together to get a really fabulous layered look and then of course the patterns and solids we love the patterns and solids great for your scrapbook backgrounds backgrounds on cards and of course all of your paper craft projects 16 sheets two each of each of the designs patterned on one side plain on the other and again if you don't like the theme of the paper but you love the colors you can always use the b-side which are the plain sides in your projects so let's turn it around this way and then we can go through so beautiful coral with the botanical detail on it and a really rich coral on the back and then this florally ditzy one there's sort of a hint of it's more of a pink in here lots and lots of um layers to create this gorgeous shaded page with the little florals on almost like a resist pattern and then it repeats so we've got um this beautiful pineapple yellow sheet with the script and the botanical drawings on and a really rich yellow pineapple yellow and then the coral is picked up in the stripes on this one on the yellow background and again it's shaded so it's got a mottled effect to it and the lovely yellow green with the botanical etchings on and that lighter fern green and then the resist in the ditzy pattern again that is mottled so it's sort of almost got a diamond effect on it which you can see better on the camera actually than I can looking at it so two of those and then we get on to the blues beautiful blues there is a white element sitting in the background on that one overlaid with the script and the darker botanical etchings and then a gorgeous blue really love i think these would coordinate with the tropical travel log deluxe collector's edition as well um looking at the colors so if you've got that collection and you're looking to expand it or extend it to make a larger project then I really do think these would work very well with that collection. And then there are chipboards and tags and pockets. We do have them all in on the website, um, but I'm just going to take you through the ephemera cards because these four items we sell as a bundle as well. So I'll put the links in the description below the video to the papers, the bundle and each of the single elements. So let's just take these out of the package and flip through. So there are 32 cards in all, double-sided. Again, picking up on all of the imagery from the collection. And they have a journaling side. So two each of the smaller ones and then 16 of the larger ones. 
and they've got some fabulous sentiments on and beautiful detail on the back. I love that one. Hello, sunshine. Oh, look at that one with the birds on. So I'm just flipping through a few of them. Oh, gorgeous with the flamingo on the journaling side. Just live. I love that. Beautiful detail. And then the larger ones. Again, two each of each of the larger ones. And they're all heavy cardstock weight as well. A fabulous flamingo. Looks gorgeous with the um, B side of the paper around the border there. It really coordinates well with the flamingo. So lots and lots of ways to mix and match this collection into your projects. I can't wait to get started and um, cut into, oh look at that one, cut into the papers and create, oh wow, I think he's my favourite, um, create some fabulous projects for us all to make. So I hope that walkthrough has inspired you to um, be creative with this fabulous new collection. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel to be kept up to date with new projects as they come out.